You got the shades drawn? Kind of like a cellar, right? Like a cave? Well, you better get used to that. You better get used to crawling in the dark for the rest of your days because I am going to get the best group of manhunters in this country and I am going to dedicate my life to tracking you down. Hey, hey, get your head out of your ass! You think you can threaten me, huh? Who do you think you're dealing with? Give me the money! Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host, Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the most wish-listed game on Steam right now. An MMO. A survival MMO built on Unreal Engine 5. Yes, the day before. Now, a lot of people don't even think that this game is real. They think it's a scam, it's all a publicity stunt, and it's been delayed a hundred times, and it's always a new excuse. And I was always like, no, that can't be right, and then... It got delayed another year. So who knows, maybe that's the case. Well, this studio, Fantastic, is in a little bit of hot water because we just came to find out that it's a, that the majority of its staff is unpaid workers. A multi-billion dollar industry. And for some reason, we're still not paying our employees. Check this out. Survival game the day before is made of unpaid volunteers. Now I need you to follow me down the rabbit hole for a minute, okay? This is a little bit of an older article, but I'm gonna take you to their current response to this, okay? And by the way, the actual trailer for this game looks absolutely amazing. It's probably why it's the most wishlisted game on Steam, and I'll end the video by just letting that trailer take it out. So right here, this was on June 27th. In an odd turn of phrase, this includes full-time volunteers who um work for salaries. Fantastic admits that the number of unpaid volunteers is limited and the majority of team members consists of part-time volunteers who are unpaid. Very limited amount of salaried employees, the rest are unpaid volunteers. Now, I mean, you know, they're volunteers, so people are willing to, hey, I worked on, you know, for their resume, the most wish-listed game on Steam. Potentially the biggest MMO ever, right? I mean, I guess I could see if someone looking for work is trying to get in good with someone. Still, give them something. Like, I don't really like that, okay? So, day before. So now let's fast... So now let's fast forward to their current response. The day before developers on Steam's most wishlisted games defends using unpaid volunteers. The studio claims every employee is a volunteer. Fantastic, the developer behind Steam's most wishlisted game the day before has defended its unpaid workers. Speaking. So now let's switch gears and actually see what their response to this is. We move over to IGN. The day before, developer of Steam's most wishlisted game defends using unpaid volunteer. Speaking to Eurogamer, the company claimed every employee, paid or not, is a volunteer because we always try to bring a proactive, pro, we always try to bring in proactive people with open hearts. I bet you do, especially when they're willing to work for free. Fantastic categorizes its workers into two camps, full-time volunteers and part-time volunteers. The former are regular paid employees, while the latter are unpaid workers who contribute to the game development, ranging from translating to community moderation. Moderating, according to the online application form, these unpaid workers can get cool rewards, participation certificates, and free codes. See that? You could work on this game, at least they'll give you some free game codes. That's what I'm talking about. The company's values are built upon the idea of volunteering, which means that every person who works or volunteers here is doing that willingly, acts with dedication and enthusiasm, and supports the team by any means possible. Fantastic said, We have many people around the world who are helping us out in many ways. They are part-time volunteers. They help us with projects that we have. Full-time volunteers are the employees of the company. We share these values with the company because we always try to bring in proactive people with open hearts. The company facing criticism online following update to its website that includes the dedicated volunteers page. You can see the example below. Unpaid work at a AAA studio to create an MMO on Unreal Engine 5 in 2022. How about Fantastic pays its workers that are helping deliver a massive project 
They gotta be a joke. It's gotta be a joke. Oof. <sighs> Fantastic revealed last month, the day before, an open world survival MMO has been delayed until next year. Blah, 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 blah. So what happened was they, you know, it's actually funny. I made a video on this game. It was actually the only video I've ever made on the day before. And the game was supposed to be out June 2022. And everyone's like, no way it's coming. No way it's coming. And I put that in my video. Hey, a lot of people say that this game is not real and it's not coming in June. Well, I posted that video, obviously, on YouTube, and then I posted it on their Discord. And I had them come back and said, well, get ready because it's coming in June. The studio told me, get ready. The game is real. real. It's coming in June. And then it got delayed another year. I have no idea. All I know is that this isn't good. This does not feel good. I understand a little bit, you know, the kind of the interning process, right? You're in college. Hey, I don't really like unpaid internships, but it's like, you know, you got to get it on the resume. It's almost like doing community service, right? Because you need that to get somewhere. So but having an entire studio, like the entire, like they, the, you have a group of people that you are taking advantage of to build this game for you. And it's not like there's anything in the contract saying that, oh, you know, if you're an unpaid worker in the game's a success, we're going to kick you some money. No way. You know they are going to keep every cent. I don't like it. That's the video. I want to know your opinion. Does this make you not want to support the game? Are you one of the people that wishlisted because the game really does look fantastic? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Tonight, today, I have three asks for you. If you think I deserve it, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. I'm hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. We are closing in on 19,000 subs, and we have a goal of 20,000 for this year. Second ask, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 41 people that have signed up. You become an instant ARPG in my lounge for Patreons on my Discord. You get a special title. You get access to our weekly blog and access to our weekly podcast. That is at the first link. And third ask, just join the Discord. It continues to grow. We're close to 1,500 members on our Discord. Great conversations every day and is a non-toxic community. That's all I've got. Hopefully you're entertained or at least learned something. Enjoy the trailer for the day before. Welcome to the short gameplay demonstration trailer for The Day Before, an upcoming open world multiplayer survival game. The Day Before features a huge, stunningly detailed post-apocalyptic world destroyed by a terrible virus. I'm running out of fuel. Great, man. Awesome. We'll look around here, I guess. Shall we split up? Yep. I'll find out what's in the skyscraper. Okay, and I'll look around here. Let's see what we have here. All right, all right, all right. I have found a great cowboy hat. Tell her everything's all right. And there aren't any more guns in the valley. Easy, cowboy. Listen up. This is Woodbury Survivor Colony speaking. If you can hear this message, it means that we have opened our doors for new survivors. We can give you food and shelter and ensure your safety. Here are the coordinates. Did you hear that? Yep, I got a message too. Great. Maybe I can sell my junk there and get myself a better rifle. Let's find some fuel and go. In the Survivor Colony, you can sell and buy any items, as well as cooperate with other players. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three fresh hands to turtle dogs and a party. In the day before, you can enter abandoned buildings and take whatever you want. The main thing is to be careful because not all players are friendly. Let's pick up some supplies. 
supplies and get out of here. Let's check it out. Oh shit. Got company. Could use some help now. The things are about to get heated. Over here. Storm is starting right now, and the temperature is falling fast. Remember that when you shoot and make unnecessary noise, it can attract unwanted guests even more Fuck. terrifying than other players. The world of the day before is teeming with hungry hordes of bloodthirsty infected, ready to tear you to pieces. That was close. You should have seen this shit. It seems he dodged a bullet. Now he's crafting a bandage so he doesn't die from bleeding. Hey, are you upstairs already? Before coming soon.